in this uh, house project we have created some task and we have assigned some summary and also we have assigned some milestones so now what we can do means like uh, for example this project completed is under roof now we should uh, take this out because this is something like uh, like uh, for the whole project not only for roof because for roof we have roof completed so if you want to take this out you can just click this cell and then here you have this option out then task the shortcut for that is alt plus shift plus left so i am trying to use a shortcut alt shift left left arrow which means so now we got this project completed outside so it is for the whole project now it is not under roof summary so like this we can able to do like outdent and also for indent so the shortcut for indent is alt plus shift plus right so we can try that alt shift right arrow alt shift right arrow see it is even more it is going so if you want left you can put left arrow so in this project now we will see how to enter recurring task so recurring task is something like uh, going to reoccur many times in our project schedule so that is called uh, recurring task for example recurring tasks are often used to represent some kind of status or meeting uh, in any project schedule so for that what we will do we will see now see here we have in uh, task ribbon in insert option we also have task drop down when you click the drop down you also have recurring task so you just click recurring task and you can put the name of the recurring task for example i am just going to put status meeting and uh, duration i am just going to put one day and i am just going to take weekly weekly sundays could be our status meeting so whatever you want you can select from here and you can able to put the occurrences for example you can click end after and you can put some 100 occurrences so it will be under 2023 january 29th so until then we will be having sunday sunday we have status meeting so here you can put the calendar for scheduling the task also you can select whatever the calendar we have otherwise you can just uh, click ok also so if i am putting standard you have the option for scheduling ignores resource calendars also if you want to ignore the resource calendar you can select this otherwise no need otherwise i am just going to put continue with none calendar and click ok see immediately we will be having like a multiple status meeting see it is automatically creating for us so under one section because we have many occurrences we have 495 days so if you want to change you can put undo and then now we can just go for again so otherwise we can just double click it when you are double clicking it we can able to modify that for example i am just going to put 10 occurrences and click ok so it is asking you something you put yes now we have 10 occurrences totally we have 10 occurrences so under status meeting and this we can able to have a summary for this and i am just clicking summary so that we can able to see in gantt chart this bar black bar so i am just going to overwrite that with management something like that so management going to have a status meeting on every sundays so this could be like uh, uh, every month every year like that it's up to you you can decide so now we have learned how to enter recurring task and also how to put under one summary so when you clicking this all together we can able to see the dates and the duration
so we can use this arrow for uh, expanding or collapsing now we will see like a overhead task uh, the term for that also it is called like a hammocking technique so this overhead task you know this is something like a depends on others so the start and end dates for a overhead task will depend on other task so this is something called hammock technique h a m m o c k technique hammock technique so this overhead task may simply be task with a long duration but we can also have the start and finish it depends on the start and finish of any other tasks so which is called hammocking so we don't need to change the duration manually while in planning stage once we set a project baseline and start entering progress or updates we must change the task to a normal task again but for purpose for this exercise we will uh, do something else here so for example and uh, here i am just going to enter something so i am just going to put this as oversight so oversight and uh, duration we are not going to put but we are going to use some technology like uh, copy and paste so that it will become like a overhead task so the duration depends on the other task so we have management here right so you just control c or right click and then uh, copy cell and then here you can just go for right click and then paste special and paste as a link and then you need to select text data and click okay okay now we have start now we can also do this the same here from here also you just copy it and then place here and then go for paste and then paste special and you need to go for paste link and then click okay now we got the duration automatically 47 days okay if you change uh, uh, this date it will automatically change so for example if i am just selecting this one so we have 5921 right so i am just going to put this date as 15 for example when you put enter see it is automatically updated it takes a little bit time but uh, even it depends on the other task so that is called like overhead task so whatever you are updating here it will automatically come here because we just paste it as a link so if i am putting 20 here and then put enter and then put enter enter so it is like automatically getting updated so this oversight is an best example for overhead task or hammock technique in any kind of project that we can able to use in this ms office project uh, now i am just going to like tell you what it means like inactive task so we can able to put some task in our project inactive for example i am just going to select the roof and i am just going here in task ribbon and i am just going to click uh, uh, in schedule options we have inactive button so click this to inactive so everything will be like inactive but uh, we will be having the project the workflow we will be having the project workflow so that's why they are here showing that so but it is like inactive if you want to make this active again you can just click it back so it will be active again so we will be having that also in our gantt chart so this is something like uh, inactivating the task or activating the task for both we can able to use the same button so it is similar to deleting if you are deleting you know again you can't able to get back but you can able to put inactive and after that you can able to get back if you want uh, that task to be like activated again you can able to activate it so for example i have like a something like here like task so i have entered something so something like this so i have entered a wrong task so in that case you can just select all those and we have delete option so select the unwanted task that you are created and you just hit the delete button in your keyboard for deleting any kind of task
otherwise we can also do that from right click so right click and you can able to go for delete task we also have like this option for insert and then inactivate task so now we are going to delete it so just to select everything right click okay it is not uh, like we can't able to select everything so right click so click any one and then right click and then delete task and then right click delete task or you can hit the delete button in the keyboard so like this we have seen like a indent and then outdent and we also seen like a recurring task how to put a recurring task in our ms project and we also seen like a overhead task or hammock technique and we also seen like how to make some uh, task inactive and then to active again and we also seen how to delete a task so this is what we learned in this uh, task section